Hello there my very good friends, welcome to Airdrop Bard. On today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest method on how you can create your own Telegram Airdrop bot and collect the data of the participants for free. You don't need to have any coding skills to create this bot. For this video, I will create an Airdrop bot for Testcoin. Users can receive 100 test tokens for joining this Airdrop, and the top 100 users with most referrals will each receive 500 test tokens. They'll have to complete some social media tasks and submit their details and wallet address. In the bot, participants can see the total number of referrals they have, their referral rank, their unique referral link, and their submitted details. Let's first have a quick look on how the airdrop bot is going to look like. That was it. If you want to create a custom airdrop bot, then you can contact me on my telegram, link will be in the description, and I'll help create one for you. I can also help you in promoting your airdrop in our Twitter and Telegram channels. Now, stay until the end of this video and I'll show you step by step on how you can create your own telegram airdrop bot. I hope you will get some value out of this video, and if you do, do not forget to give this video a like, and subscribe to this channel for new crypto airdrop videos, with that being said, Let's begin. Now the very first thing you need to do is, open the Telegram app on your phone or your computer, and search for a bot named Botfather, it'll have a blue check on it. Open it, and press the start button if you haven't already. Here in the command menu, you will see different commands for this bot, find new bot command, and click on it. After that enter a name for your bot, then press the send button. Now enter a username for your bot, remember it must be unique and end with BOT, and you cannot change it later. After that hit send. Up to here, you have successfully created a bot, but it is completely empty. Now I'll show you how to add description and profile picture for your bot. Go to the command menu, find my bots, and click on it. Then select your bot, click on edit bot, click on edit description, and enter the description for your bot like this. then hit send. Again, come back here, and click on edit bot pic, then send a square size photo to the bot. Now to see how your bot is, come back here again, and click on the username of your bot. Here, if we click on the start button, this bot will not give any response. So let's work on it now. Come back to the home page of Telegram, then search for a bot named Teledrop. I'll put a link to this bot at the description box as well. Open it, and then press the start button. Then send command new airdrop. Here, you have to send the API token of your newly created bot from Botfather. For that, come back to Botfather again, send command my bots, click on the bot username, click on API token. Here you'll see the API token of your bot, click on it, and it'll be copied to your clipboard. Come to the Teledrop bot again, and send the copied token here. After that your airdrop bot will start working, and you just have to change the welcome message, success message and add some tasks in it. Now go to your bot or simply click on this link, which will take you to your bot, and start the bot. Complete the captcha, and you'll see the default welcome message for your airdrop. Now, let's change this message and set up the airdrop. To do that, send command admin panel here. Note that only the owner and admins of the airdrop can use this command. Here in the admin panel, click on welcome message button, click on edit welcome message, then enter the new welcome message for the airdrop like this.
then hit send. To check if the welcome message has changed, click on exit admin panel button and you'll see the new welcome message you set. After that go back to admin panel, again with the command admin panel, and click on edit tasks button. We will now add some tasks in this airdrop. Here, click on telegram check button to add a telegram task. Click on edit check IDs, add check ID, and enter the ID of a channel or group that you want the bot to check if the user is in or not. You can use this bot to get ID of any channel or group. You can also add more check IDs here by increasing the limit, which will help to check user in multiple channels and groups. After that, click on set check message button, then enter the message for the telegram task like this. Make sure you add the links of the channels and groups of which IDs you have set for check, so the user can continue joining the airdrop. Also, ask the users to click the continue button if they have completed the task in the message. Then hit send. Then, turn on the check function with this button. After that, add your bot as an admin to the channels and groups of which IDs you have set for check, so that it can check who joins, it doesn't need any permission, just admin is fine. Here I have only added one channel ID for check so I will add the bot to that channel only, if you have set multiple check IDs then you'll have to add the bot as admin to all of them. Now go back, to create other tasks, like Twitter and wallet submission tasks. Before creating such tasks we need to create variables so that we can store the user submitted values in it. We don't need to create variable for telegram task as it will be automatically stored by the bot. Now click on variables, create variable, and enter the name for your variable, I'll be making Twitter task in this variable so I will name it Twitter. You can see the message that the variable was created successfully. Similarly I'll create a wallet variable for wallet task. If you want to create more variables then you can do so by increasing the limit. After that, you can now add tasks in those variables. Click on add task, select a variable you want to assign to the task, I'll be creating Twitter task so I will select Twitter variable, then enter the message for the task like this. Make sure you add the link of the Twitter profile you want the users to follow, and ask the users to submit their Twitter profile username in the message. Then hit send. That's it, Twitter task was created successfully. Now let's create wallet task in the similar way, click on add task, select wallet variable, enter the message for the task like this, then hit send. Wallet task was also created successfully. Here is another cool feature, if you want to prevent multiple users from inputting the same Twitter username in the Twitter task of the airdrop, you can click on the forbid dub button. This will not allow users to submit a value that already exists. We are almost done, up to here, we've set the welcome message, telegram task, twitter task, and wallet task in our airdrop bot. Now let's set the success message, the message that the users will see after completing the airdrop successfully. For that, go back, click on success message, edit success message, then enter the new success message for the airdrop like this. You can also add fillings in this message like this. Percent ref count percent, this will be replaced with the amount of referrals user has. You can check the list of available fillings by clicking here. Percent Twitter percent, 
This will be replaced by the user's submitted Twitter username. Then hit send. That's all, your airdrop bot is ready. You can check it yourself by clicking the exit admin panel button or by clearing the chat history. Share this airdrop link in your project community or anywhere else, and people can join the airdrop. You can check how many users have joined your airdrop and how many of them have completed all airdrop tasks by clicking on user status button. You can pause airdrop, disable captcha, and ads from the settings. You can export a spreadsheet file containing all users' data for free once in a while using command export free, and at any time with command export. You can read more about it on export CSV section. You can also activate the turbo mode to make your bot faster during times of high user activity. The bot also helps in finding best channels for promoting your airdrop. You can also add admins to manage your airdrop from here. And, that's it, if you have any question then you can ask me in the comment section, or to teledrop support on telegram. I hope you like this video, I'll see you, next time.